support you need during your recovery from narcissistic abuse. Today at QueenBee.com. Hi, my name is Angie Atkinson. I'm a certified life coach and author and also a survivor of narcissistic abuse in relationships. If you're struggling in a relationship with a toxic narcissist, I would like to invite you to join SPAN, my online support group for victims and survivors of narcissistic abuse. Our group is full of amazing, strong, and supportive survivors at varying stages in their relationships with narcissists. Often when we're in toxic relationships, we find ourselves feeling very alone, and this is partly because the narcissist has isolated us, but also because a lot of times we're so embarrassed about what we've been through that we just quite honestly don't want to tell anybody. We are otherwise intelligent, um, together people, but for some reason this narcissist has this hold on us that we don't expect. Even when we're out of the relationship, sometimes we need support just to help ourselves to remain out of the relationship and to deal with the after effects of it, especially if we're co-parenting, but even if we're not. Um, so that's something to consider. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of what happens in the SPAN group and what we do here and what it's all about. Let's start by talking about when you join our group, you do get certain rights, but also certain responsibilities. So let's get started with discussing the SPAN member rights and responsibilities. We encourage you to post your thoughts, your concerns, your fears, and your successes. If you're a survivor who has successfully created a new narcissist-free life, I'd love it if you tell us your story. Um, it would be, it would give those who haven't escaped hope and inspiration. And if, you know, if you can be a beam of hopeful light in someone else's darkness, what, what more could you ask for? Now, if you're currently struggling inside the relationship, well, we want you to tell us our troubles. Tell us your troubles and let us help support you through them. If you've gone no contact and you need support, <clears throat> you've come to the right place. We'll support you there, too. If you're co-parenting with a narcissist, we want you to share your struggles and your successes. And if you have a narcissist family member, boss, coworker, or friend, that's what we're there for. We'll support you. When you feel like you're not good enough, we'll remind you who you are. And when you want to celebrate your successes, guess who will be your biggest cheerleaders? That's us. What we have here, my friends, is a group of beautiful, empathic souls who know perfectly well how to love. And another thing our members have in common is that we're all a little special. How's that? We all attracted narcissists into our spheres, spheres of influence. Um, so... That means that we just chose to share our light with the wrong people. And now we are on a journey of healing and, for lack of a better word, the rejuvenation of our own bright lights. We owe it to ourselves and to the world to be the best possible versions of ourselves. As empaths, we can do so much good to the world when we are at, you know, full power, right? Um, so the energy suckers that we call narcissists can become like a toxic drug for us. We struggle to stop being part of their circle of pain. Um, but we crave their presence when they're not there with us, even though when we try to walk away, we know we, we should. We act like addicts. We know it's not good for us, and we know that it might eventually be the death of us, but we still can't stop. As a member of this group, it is your responsibility to help support your fellow members. And in, in return, you know, they support you as well. We all end up working together to become an ever-evolving, better version, best possible version of ourselves. As a member of this group, it's your responsibility. It's like a positive energy compendium, if you will. The only rules, there are very few, but we do have a few. They are number one, hate, speech, blatant rudeness, and assault of member character is not tolerated at all. Number two, be respectful and be kind. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Not so hard. Um, number three, everything you share here in our span group is kept in confidence, and you're required to do the same for all other members. I'll tell you about that little star in a minute. Number four, don't share links unless they are relevant to our group members. So don't come in there and sharing a bunch of spammy sale, you know, sales links. Only share things that are directly relevant to our members. Otherwise, we'll have to ask you to leave the group. Um, again, SPAN is an acronym for support for people affected by narcissism in relationships. And that little star I talked about before, um, the reason that I put that there is because in some cases I will ask some people um, to, you know, to consider sharing stories or certain 
um, bits of information they share, um, you know, outside the group for articles and or books and anthologies that I'm working on. Now, this is only done if the member says it's acceptable and it is never required for membership. Um, everything in the group is 100% confidential. Um, the only time I would ever use anything you say or, or write in the group is with your permission, and I would never identify you without permission as well, okay? So do not feel obligated. If, you, if, you, if I give you an offer and I say, hey, would it be okay if I publish that? If you, if you think not, just say no, and I will drop it like a hot rock, I promise you. Okay. Uh, every now and then I see something that I think would help a lot of people. And so I may ask, hey, is it okay if I publish this? It might be a sentence or a, or a statement or a, a way of looking at something, or it might be a story. But in any case, I would always request permission. I would never do it without permission. I totally respect the difficult place that we are in when we are dealing with narcissists, uh, whether they're currently in our lives or not. Okay. Um, in most cases, I ask, like I said, because I feel that, that a story will speak to people and help them in some way. So no pressure and absolutely ignore that if you want, because again, I would never do it without your permission and I wouldn't do it without, you know, checking first. And if you had any objection or reservation, wouldn't happen. Okay, moving on. NarcissismSupportCoach.com is a place you can go if you're having a little trouble with recovery and you need to kind of get through some fears or some of the little barriers that are holding you back. Um, I've got a real quick five-day fear-busting email course uh, that is designed specifically for narcissistic abuse survivors. Um, and in this course, you will, over the course of five days, um, in about 15 to 20 minutes a day, you can literally change your life if you choose to. It's really good stuff. Um, all right, one last time. My name is Angie Atkinson. I'm a certified life coach, an author, and a survivor. Um, you can learn more about me personally at AngelaAtkinson.me, or you can go to QueenBeing.com for um, resources, information, and free tools on narcissism support recovery, or hit up my books at BooksAngieWrote.com. Several, several of my books are um, directed and you know written specifically for survivors of narcissistic abuse. So you might want to check that out. Uh, until tomorrow, I'll.